And we're back. Yes, we have a Gal. He's the CEO of Matal the Winery. Now we're drink, now we're, we're about to taste Stratus from Matal 2017. And do you know what the Stratus cloud is? No so, idea. So some of our wines uh, are uh, named after types of clouds. Okay, and the Stratus cloud are the layers of clouds. You know, clouds that look like layers. You know, if uh, uh, you have um, like sheets. Yeah, yeah, like okay. sheets. Okay, and uh, 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 the characteristics of the cloud are like the characteristics of the wine. You have layers of flavor here. Now the Stratus is 100% Shiraz. Okay, it's 14 months in French oak barrels. We use only French oak. Why do we use only French oak? Because we like that light flavor of wood that it gives, not too too much is it, uh, is overpowering it? on the wine. Like uh, different types of oak do, like the American oak or new oak. Okay. Is it toasted? Though? Lightly. Toasted lightly. We like to feel the fruit. We like the balance. Okay. We like the nice acidity. Uh, our Shiraz comes from high altitude, like our wi our winery is, 1,000 meters above sea level. Okay. So this is a very different kind of Shiraz. People know Shiraz very peppery, very spicy. This is a very balanced Shiraz. Isn't the Shiraz used to be told today only for blending? What um, changed? Uh, well, you know, uh, first of all, the world is changing. <laughs> and we have a very nice soil, you know, Golan Heights, volcanic soil. We have a very nice soil to get this. Uh, it's limestone. Yeah, also limestone. Uh, and you get a different Shiraz, not that peppery, not that spicy, so I can make it a standalone one. I still have some fruit. I smell the fruit yeah. a little bit, yeah. but it does have spice. Fruit over too. spice, lightly spice, balance. It's all about. In, in our I would wines, say it's a little bit balance. that it's like uh, it has a little French notes to it, like a little barnyard. Mm -hmm. But I think I think it's tobacco, a lot of tobacco, like cigar tobacco. But again, lightly, balance, eucalyptus a bit, yes, a bit of cocoa. Okay, a bit, a bit, a bit, and it all. If it, if the winemaker it's is not good, overpowering, that's for sure. If the winemaker is good, then you have a very balanced wine with nice acidity. Okay. This. Uh, People think a Shiraz, you know, very spicy. Here you have light spice. It has a spice. A light. No, as it I has said, spice. I like spice, but I like it balanced. I don't but want it balanced. to be overpowered. But it's balanced. That's it. It has fruit on the finish. Yeah. And has nice tannins. That actually, when, you, when it's open, it can be a little bit tricky to understand the, between the difference of tannins yeah. and spice. I can see the difference, but there is nice. You know what? I'm going to agree with you on this. It's balanced, but it's spicy and it's balanced. Okay, let's move to the okay. to the Cabernet. So actually, the Cabernet 16 is the first vintage we made of the Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, aged 18 months in French oak. As we said, we like only French oak, lightly toasted, some used, some new. What does toasted mean? Toasted mean when you uh, burn uh, the no, they actually torch it. They, they torch they, the barrel? Yes, they torch it. You the can barrel. torch it lightly or you can torch it, torch it. The barrel on the inside. Yeah, so, when the it, so once huh. the barrel is made, before the tops are on, they take actually a torch uh, mm -hmm. It can be a torch or it can be a, a, a fire, a a fire small pit, fire. right? So right. it turns black, brown? No, no, it has a fire pit on the bottom of it. He's right. They have a fire on, on bottom, like woods mm -hmm. going like mm -hmm. diagonal, like a little bonfire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they take the wood, they just they put the barrel on it, and it just smokes it out. Not smokes it out, it burns it. Burns it. Now, if you lightly toast your barrel, then you will get lightly toasts 
This, now, this is interesting. I've never heard of this before in my life. And if you, uh, you know, really char your barrel, you'll get a lot of vanilla. So, for an example, like Pinot Noirs and stuff like that, that the grape is very light, yeah. mm -hmm. they have heavier barrels. They, they, char, they, mm. they burn out more, so there's more flavor coming in from the barrel to give it that little mm. That's very the, interesting. To the grape. That's interesting stuff. So, uh, our Cabernet, uh, 18 months in oak. Um, very nice fruit, very nice blackberries, a bit of pecan toast in the in the nose. Very rich mm -hmm. as a cabernet should be. Uh, actually, the 2016 vintage, which we're going to try two wines mm -hmm. off, is one of the best vintages ever in Israel. Uh, it will get to be known in the next years as more as these wine age. It will be felt much better. Um, but uh, a very nice vintage, very good. Very velvet. I, I smell a lot of velvet. Yeah. Black fruit. Yeah, very nice. I would say the, the peel of the plum. Oh, I like that. Now, it is not plummy, but you feel that it's, it has, you feel that acidity, the, the, the peel mm -hmm. of it. And it. And, and as I told you before, you know, that we really, really emphasize our wines on balance. Um, an Israeli Cabernet would usually be very jammy and very strong and very overpowering. And this is a balance. You know, you can feel your mouth after taking a sip. I like it. Very fruit forward. You can't go wrong that it's Israeli. Yeah. It's still not like other wineries, like full power fruit it has tannins to it it has yeah. it has nice tannins it has barnyard just mature it's not mature no nope. this is so far from reality meaning i would say wait wait yeah yeah wait. at least this, this is, is the wine that can wait at least three four years yes and they just actually just released it i think there's like the second vintage that you guys are first making. This the first cabernet, cabernet made. first cabernet so you recommend putting putting this one away this is definitely a put away one i would say one to ten this is nine you have to put in four this years away. from now what's it gonna cost it's not about costing it's mm -hmm. about being you'll True. be able to see what it really has to offer as of right now mm -hmm. it's a good drink for the people mm -hmm. that like like wine yeah. at the moment, it's great to drink. I always say this and I say it over. People don't they have to appreciate every time you open a bottle, no matter when you open it. If you open it five minutes after it was bottled, if you open it 20 years after. Of course. They're all different tastes, but appreciate what the wine has so far at that given moment when you open it. So people leave, leave, let it breathe for six hours, appreciate it then. It's different tastes. It's not like, I know people that are very big in the wine industry, and we both know them, and they tell me that they only love it fresh, like this, like a punch in the face. I give them the same wine that's a 2000, of course. and they're like, come on, that's nothing, just leave me alone. I'm saying, come on, I matured 19 years, it's beautiful. It's, there's nothing that hides, it doesn't hide on the oak, and it's a bit, they're like... So look, everybody enjoys different things. At the moment, this is great stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, let's move to the CB. It's still very tight. I'm, I agree with you. It needs time. I tried it. This was very delicious, actually. 